Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. Today I have come on to do, to film for you, the bonus project in my January class in the post. Um, this, this month's class is four cards plus a bonus pro project. You can do, you will have enough in your box to do two of each of the four cards and enough to complete this bonus project. So I'm just going to film the method with you. Thank you so much for all those people who bought my kit. I really, really appreciate your custom. And the bonus um, project is my gift to you from my stash. So here we are. So you do have enough materials in your box left over because you got a quarter pack of this um, acetate which is a sort of a silvery colour on one side and rococo rose and gorgeous grape colours so you got a 12 by 6 sheet of this and a 12 by 6 sheet of this one, I think there's two patterns, so you've got two Rococo rows and two that are gorgeous grape. Did you? I'm trying to think what you've got. No, you've got a six by six, so I will also have given you the pieces for your bonus project. You'll either get a gorgeous grape or a Rococo rose. Oh, sorry, I just like. That's right, because the pieces in the kit will be six by six, and this is more than six by six. So I will gift you an extra piece of this, to so that you can do that. This project, sorry, but you will have enough designer series paper, and I will gift you the card that is in this as well. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. I've, I've only half thought it through before I'm filming, but obviously by the time I'm packing your it. I'll be doing the order later tonight so um, I'll make sure I've ordered enough. You won't be watching this until you've got the kit anyway so my blathers are really not that relevant. But anyway, in your in in your box that you've received you will have enough card and acetate to complete this project. And I have also gifted you the notebook to do it with. So this is a beautiful a notebook that I have acquired from a local craft store. Um, it's really nice thick paper and you can stamp on it, you can draw in it, you can write in it. It's up to you what you do with your notebook. Um, I'm actually going to make this one up and then possibly gift it to someone. So what, what I've got first is I, I've got Bammy Blue piece of card and I have my measurements close by. Let me get them. Right, and if you're watching this after January, when I've released this uh, video to the public, obviously I'll there there I will blog it, and there will be measurements to help you if you want to. This notebook is basically I'm just looking centimeter wise. It's a little bit more than I would I would say it's probably. A4, it is in fact, it's A4 folded in half the paper, so you're getting, it's just a bit short of 15 centimetres wide and it's 21 centimetres tall. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, and it's got a fair few pages in it. I don't know if they still sell them, but I'm sure you can find notebooks similar if you did want to go and do something else. So basically what I'm going to do is, so that it can dry, is I'm going to stick the acetate to the backing card that I've chosen to put it on. I've already cut this just to make sure this video doesn't go on for too long. And I need to put some powder in my phone or else it'll cut out while I'm filming and then... I'll have to do it again like happened last time. So let's just get this a bit straighter for you. 
Right. I think you can see, you'll be able, as long as I stay in the middle, you'll see what I'm up to. Okay, so I have cut card that is 13.5, no, 13.5 centimetres by 20 centimetres. Because this is a notebook, um, it doesn't, like, although you would think 30 centimetres piece of paper folded in half comes out at 15, it doesn't quite because there's quite a, the bulk is taken up in the spine. So I, I thought this looked okay when I've tried it against it. So 13.5 centimetres by 20 centimetres. Obviously, if you're using a different notebook, you'll have to work out your measurements. But once you've done them, you know you're away. And then I've just done this exactly half a centimetre uh, smaller all round. So it's 13 centimetres by 19.5 centimetres. So I'm just going to glue this onto that but what I'll do is I'll just look for the bits that are a bit more solid to apply my glue I'm not going to put a lot of glue on just just a bit in some of the place you could use glue dots you could use tape I just thought if I put some glue on it our glue sticks good and hard if Just give it a fighting chance. I'm just putting some along the top as well. We don't. I don't think it'll come off, but I'll tell you when. <laughs> Once I've made it, if there's any, um, although I'm filming it now, I can always add in any notes if this doesn't work. But I think it will. Glue dot. I find glue dots in the other projects I did. I use glue dots, but I'm pretty sure that Tom Boat will hold this fast and good thing although it's spread a bit there um, it will dry clear so it won't be that obvious and we are going to decorate it so just get your acetate kind you know make sure it's straight and see then just that did slip so I'm just having a quick look just make sure if you do feel a slip that it doesn't slip too far and that's that one and then we'll, we'll let them dry for a minute while we do again this one's easier because there's less holes in this one I've forgotten what they call this type of acetate what they called it it's almost like the craters on the moon this But this is all part of the Hydrangea Hill Suite. I mean, obviously, if you bought the kit, you'll know that. But for anyone watching later on. I usually don't make the video available for a few weeks. I don't make it but um, available to everybody till a few weeks after my clients have got their project box I let them be first to access the videos right so that one will be going on the back so just let them dry a bit and get the next thing I want Ready. So I'm going to have this so that I can put lots of extra bits in this notebook. Could be a photo book, you know, it could be for anything. Um, where's my tape runner? Don't know where it's. It was here earlier. take the volume off that. I've got my laptop beside me because I was on a zoom a little while ago so I just wanted to
Right, so what I want is I'm going to have this ribbon around my notebook so that we'll be able to tie it shut. Like that. So I'm going to put some tape here, not all the way, but just enough to keep it from coming off when I'm sticking the rest down. So I'm just going to pop piece about there I'll take the back off here there we go So I'm just trying to make sure my ribbon's roughly in half here and then I'm just sticking it so it comes straight across there. This is just so that it doesn't move while I'm sticking things down or while they're drying. I'm not going to stick down the back at the moment but I'm just going to stick this on the front first. So just get some glue. That. I've put quite a bit of glue on so that it will stick to the ribbon as well. don't know where my tape runner is. I was going to use the seal for this but um, our tearing tape is just as, in fact our tearing tape is pretty strong tape and I don't use it half enough probably because I'm just a lazy crafter. And you know, I think I'm going to put a bit on here as well. Just, just take a piece. the back and then I'm going to pop this I'm using the Rococo rose obviously you use whatever colours you want you don't have to put the acetate on I just decided that I would but I'll make sure you have enough in your project box to be able to do I do it if you, on the back as well if you want to I don't think I've probably put enough glue on this, but for the moment I'm just going to put this down. Just holding it down just to... It's really quite an easy project, but a pretty one. I absolutely adore this suite. So there, you know, now we've got a, a notebook. We'll let it dry before we start tying, but I'll be able to tie a nice bow there. also have some ribbon here at the side but you could thread through you know you could put some trinkets on there if you wanted you could thread through and have something hanging if you want I'm not going to do that now I've just cut a piece of the beautiful paper the hydrangea hill paper designer series paper and I have cut this eight centimeters by 16 centimeters and it's going on to a piece of gorgeous grape which is 8.4 centimeters by 16.4 or you could do 8.5 by 16.5 whatever you choose um, And then it's just whoops. I'm 
that's that part and I'm just going to glue that straight on. As I say, it's not a complicated project. Just some matting and layering and a very, very pretty notebook. Don't know which way round I want. Oh, that for some reason in my head, that's the way round I want it. Obviously, this is going to take a wee bit longer to dry because it's going on to a smooth surface. I'm just going to turn that over for a minute. Today, I'm just going to leave the back like this with a nice shiny finish, which I think is very pretty. Oh, I love this. I love the bammy blue because it's in there and there. And... It just looks lovely. Again, you, I could have used um, Seaside Spray car card underneath. It would have worked equally well. But just for some reason, I like the Bami Blue. And there is Bami Blue in there as well as Seaside Spray. So it's fine. Now, just to finish it off, I thought I'd use one of the wee stamps out of this. And a nice thing, because I'm going to probably gift this. You are capable of amazing things. I'm not sure who I'm gifting it to yet. But... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our oval bunch. So you've got, it's got two ovals in this that layer together. So you've got the sort of serrated finish, larger oval, and then a smoother oval. So I want, I just take two with the Bami Blue, because I can keep that for later. And I want that to stamp on. And then because I just want the big one here, I can just put that into the punch like that and not punch out two this time. Unlikely that I would want to stamp on the gorgeous grape. Right, and I've got gorgeous grape ink here. And I'm just going to stamp this. You are amazing. You are capable of amazing things. There's lots of lovely sentiments in this. It. There you go. You are capable of amazing things. So you are. And again, I'm going to glue this together. Now I'm just gluing things because I feel that that if it's a notebook, you might want to put it in your bag, and you maybe don't want too many things that are going to catch on things. Look at Bammy Blue on Gorgeous Grape. The colours just go fantastic together. So I'm now just going to glue this onto my panel. Now oh, there you go, and that's inspiring, isn't it? There we go. So just tie that in a nice bow. And there you have a notebook that you can either gift to somebody. Now you can stamp in this. It's great for stamping in. If you don't want to have a ribbon on, if you think a ribbon's too much fuss, then don't have a ribbon. You can also feed some ribbon through there and you can have some hanging ribbons as well. So you could go on and on. You can use up bits of your designer series paper inside and glue onto the paper. You can stamp inside, whatever you want. Um, I'm possibly going to do something like this with another suite um, and film what I do inside the book but um, for the moment there's your project. Thank you very much as I said to everyone who bought the kit, thank you to everyone who follows me and thank you for watching this if you're watching this after January. Thank you so much or after, after the project's gone live boxes have gone out. It will be towards the end of January, beginning of February before I release this. Anyway, thank you so much and I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon and share this with anyone you think would be interested.